Hello everyone. In our last video, we saw that how to install SAP Web ID to our local system, and we also configured uh, two types of gateway services. One was from O Data Services, and another was the trial version of SAP Gateway. Today we are going to use these gateways, or say to use these O Data Services to our development so basically today we are going to work with sap.m.table this is a control called table from sap.m libraries sap.m libraries is a very popular one and uh, this is responsive so basically all the ey5 developments are going through this sap.m libraries if you want to develop a mobile friendly application so just go to file create a new project from template sap ey5 application project give your project name and today we are going to work with xml view so view name we went just leave this name space as a blank we will later see what is the use of this name space just click on next finish it so here we can see a table binding folder and this project had been created so now we have to design a table and this is a xml view just delete this we are not going to use space in this view now we have to design a view for table so here you can see it's written xmlns equal to sap.m this is a namespace and sap.m you can think it in as a layman language that uh, we have we are including sap.m library in this view so there is a control called table and we are going to use it just give a id to this table right here right. and now uh, we have to give column names to this table so basically we are going to define the columns of this table so just write here not column this is columns and there is a control called sap.m.column so we have to write here column and we are going to bind this column with a text means this will be a header of our this column so just right here txt and close the tab so we have defined our first column just copy it website so we have developed a table and uh, our table contains four columns with name carrier id carrier name currency code and website let's see if it's working or not just click on file save all and run this so here uh, we are getting this website only means we are making mistakes somewhere Right. 
basically we have closed all this in this column only so our last text is being displayed basically we have defined four columns save all and save here now we are getting this code heading career id career name currency code and website and we are getting nothing in our table so basically now we have to bind this table with some o data services uh, here is a service called rmt sample flight and we are going to use carrier collection entity set from this model or say this o data services so basically uh, in table we have to write like items equal to close this in, in double braces and here this curly braces right here path and you have to use this slash and here we are going to write carrier collection So items equal to path and path is carrier collection that is our entity set name. Now save all. Now we have to bind these columns with this entity set. Just there is a aggregation pro property called items right here and there is another SAP dot M control and that is called column list item. And here uh, give text fill to this column. And here we have to write care ID. This is our field name from that entity set. Binded our columns to these properties of this uh, or data service. Here you can see there are carrier ID, care name, care currency code, and URL. Here is another one, mind text, text slash HTML. We are not using it right now. Just save all. Now we have developed our view. Now we have to do something in our control. Just go to uninit method, uncomment it, and right here. Or 
model the model and we have to give a path to this orator model right you just copy this from here and now we are going to bind this model to our view so just write this dot get view dot set model o model save it and now we have defined our missing semicolon okay now we have uh, set our model to this view here this dot get view is getting view for this particular controller only file save all now go to application preview refresh it so when you will refresh this browser you will see this error code file not found so basically what we are doing here we are providing a relative path to our destination folder where we have created a file named with dev center so for this what we have to do just go to neo app.json copy it here press enter paste it here now we have to give a path this path is nothing but sap slash opu slash vodata and target our type is not a service but our type is destination and after that name is name was dev center and here we have to give entry path uh, our entry path is same and description was sap dev center save all and again refresh it now we are getting this forward to enter our username and password just enter your username and password here i have entered this username and password but again i am getting this no data so we have to change something in our index.html here we have to write our binding type is complex just write here data then this time we will get our table and here we can see this table has been binded so thank you for hearing me out we saw in this tutorial that how to bind for data services to our table in our next video uh, we are going to explore more and more sap ui5 if you like this video and this content please like comment and subscribe so i can know better about everything thank you